All right, folks, it is disco time. We got disco fever here at uh, European Motors in Cedar Rapids. We're gonna do a walk around and test drive with this beautiful 2003 Discovery 2, affectionately known as a disco. To all the Land Rover geeks out there in YouTube land. This is a pretty clean one. 2003, this was locally traded. The gentleman who had this owned it for the last 14 years. Prior to that, it was owned uh, in the South Carolina, Florida area. Is that right, That's Tommy? That's correct. It's a non-smoker. Got the black interior. Obviously a little bit older, so you got a little bit of wear down here on the seat. A little wear typical with a 2003 model year. But it actually runs out and drives nicely. We uh, fully inspected this, ran it through our service department, did a whole bunch of stuff to get it up to snuff to where we felt uh, it was ready for its next owner. So you're looking for kind of a classic Land Rover. It's not gonna break the bank. Here it is, good set of, uh, I love the name on these. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, what what other kind of tire do you put on a on a Discover, but a or a Discovery, but a Cooper Discoverer, right? Little wear and tear. Got a little crack on the bumperette right here. A little bit of hazing in the fog light. Headlights are super clear, though. Yeah, they are very bright, and these are the updated. Uh, Headlights, I always thought the, the Discoveries looked a little bit better with that last headlight that they did. It does have accident damage from a long time ago on both the front and the rear. But we've got a clean title, no airbag deployment, nothing crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but we got the twin sunroofs up top. That was just real cool back in the day. Again, a nice set of tires. I may have skipped over the right front. I'll go back to it. Definitely over half life left on these. 60-70% uh, probably on the mud and snow rated Coopers. Good set of tires all the way around. Got the alloy wheels. Does have, this is really hard to see in photos, so I'm going to point this out to you. And in fact, you'll walk around it four times. You won't even see this. But it's got a little depression right here from some kind of a garage bump or something like that. Maybe that's one of the things on Carfax. Just a little depression right there. There's no paint damage. There's nothing like that. And it's very, very light, but it is there. Another neat thing about this one, some of these came with the third row and this one did. So you've got the step to get in right here. We've got one seat out for you. The headrest pops down from the roof. And uh, Tommy, who's a uh, real muscular, six foot tall, actually just sat in there and he said he was just fine as long as it was just going to be a shorter trip. But he actually looked pretty comfy back there, but probably wouldn't want to go on a road trip like that. Here's the other seat. It just stows away, of course, if you want just to be a five, five passenger you can stow this seat as well have it be a five six or seven passenger as you please i call these the alpine windows another cool feature of the discoveries and of course you got gear nets and rear climate control these were pretty uh pretty uptown hoity-toity back in 2003 and they have aged well. They've just kind of got that classic Land Rover look. We'll kind of give it another walk around. I'll sight down the sides. We can do an underside shot. Just a little surface rust. 
from being up in the Midwest, but we've got no crazy rust or rot on this anywhere. Come on in and take a look if you're looking for a budget SUV that's got quite a bit of style. This is uh, this is pretty neat. Let's take it for a spin. That's the Discovery mat still in it. We got 114, 545. You can see the warning lights come on and then they clear. Of course, we got a V8. This was a BMW derived V8. This period of time, BMW owned Land Rover. has a few LEDs missing. Whichever comes first, visit Dave Wright Nissan Subaru today on the corner of Boyson and North Center Point Road. Oh, you don't want to do that. You want to visit us. <laughs> European Motors on Center Point Road is who you want to visit, but the radio works great. Show you sunroofs. Both of them going back simultaneous, simultaneously no issues there then they drop of course you've got individual shades shades are both closed in the back there but they're both good as well so like you say the previous owner owned this for 14 years he loved this thing do you remember what he traded this on? He traded it for a 2017 Volvo XC90. That's right. So, upgraded quite a few years. Quite a few years. That was a pretty fully loaded Volvo. He keeps his stuff for quite a while. Takes good care of it. And Love these beefy cup holders in this yeah. thing. Those were actually and a dealer accessory. Not all of these got those. I remember back in the day I owned a 2002 and I put those on in the garage myself because <laughs> mine did not have them. AC works well, nice and cold. here above the sun visor on both sides as well yeah tons of storage and you know what I really like about these is the seating position you're just really in this command position in these you sit really high and it just has a very Land Rover feel whenever you get behind the wheel of one of these they're just kind of fun to just drive and they did a nice job. Got a little star down here on the glass. Very small and definitely out of the field of view, but be aware of that. And certainly not a handling machine, but doesn't do too bad. Again, no check engine lights or issues. down the road nice that's 60 miles an hour pretty quiet for an older vehicle hop on the brakes you can see it stopped straight and true we don't have any shimmies there's no weird clunks or anything like that it should be ready for its next owner so there it is a 2003 discovery 2 land rover discovery 2 ready for its next owner 114,000 miles trade-in with long-term ownership. Nice luxury SUV that's not going to break the bank. 
need a second car, or third car, maybe just a play toy to go out and goof around in the mud. This would be a lot of fun on the weekends or just as a second car. So feel free to give us a call, 319-393-8496, europeanmotorsiowa.com. If you're watching this from out of state and you're like, hey, that Discovery is exactly what I'm looking for, but I live four hours away, eight hours away, 12 hours away, you want just delivered right to your driveway, we can do that. Ask us for details on how that works. Uh, we do that all the time. In fact, Tommy, didn't you just deliver a vehicle to we where? To Arkansas? Arkansas, Arkansas. Yep. Arkansas. So that just happened this week. So happy to help you in that regard. Thanks for so much for watching 2003 Land Rover Discovery.